I competed in my first horse show when I was four years old. I mean, I've grown up with it. I've never known anything else. Genevieve has grown up on the horse farm. When we brought her home from the hospital, we brought a pony into the house for her. A jumper for as long as she can remember. Woo! Genevieve is heading to South Florida to represent Team USA in an international show jumping competition. It was a very big deal. It was a long shot. Right now she's riding as the number one ranked 12 year old and she's ranked number three in the FEI children's ranking list. Um, and only four riders are selected from the entire U.S. and that's all the girls who aspire to be show jumpers at this age group. Having just turned 12, she will be one of the youngest in her age class, guiding a 1,500 pound animal over a wooden rail. You have to be able to trust your horse, that they will help you out when you really need it. For Genevieve, that trust has to go a little deeper than most. I, I don't have depth perception. I've never known anything different. And I've always just kind of done it. Some may call that a disadvantage. And there are very few people that have that same problem. Not Genevieve. Yeah. So I think it forces me to have a better connection with the horse. Without being able to see how far away from a jump she is, Genevieve has to rely on other senses. I feel what the horse is feeling and when they have, if they have options, maybe I could go deep or go long. I just, I find the right one. One, two, three, four. She counts off the distance between jumps before each competition. But once she's on the horse, it's all about her and her horse. I do my very best to give them all I have. Now at 12 years old, Genevieve is too young for Rio in 2016, but has her sights set on 2024 when the Olympics will be here in the U.S. So for now, we'll wish her luck in just a few weeks 